Let's finally. go. It's finally happening. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm gonna put on my sun. I'm gonna put on my glasses again. All right. So Zongi is in Chinese, I think. It will be on the blue team side. Of course, yes. uh, Mean Things MT will be on the red team side. You can see Carrie, the Carrie being banned. Karina. Probably a sister, I think, because they share the same eyes. I I don't know. Uh, uh, that, that's 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 uh, okay. Never mind. All right. Okay. Let, let, let me push that aside. Yeah, she's gone. Anyway, uh, and picks. Aurora. What do you think about it? Aurora Cho on the first good. rotation, right into the Hayabusa. Um, what do you think? Very interesting. This will be a good tri lane, uh, or maybe Hayabusa will be going in the solo lane itself. But if they were to do a good tri lane here, I think both of them can deal a lot of damage, especially Cho. A great initiation by a lot of teams right here. And whoa, we saw a Minotaur here. Yeah, we saw a Minotaur. Oh, and finally a Franco Hover. Franco. These, these are Franco Hovers, Franco. though. They have, they have, these, these are just Hovers, though. These are just Hovers, though. Don't get your hopes too high, we Sensei. Because we're still waiting on them to lock it in. And it's happened, boys and they girls. Lock they locked it in. We're going to see a dual tank pick up. But I'm thinking that uh, Jules Swint. Jules uh, oh, Swint will not actually pick him up as so tanky. He's going to go maybe that uh, support-ish support kind yeah. of role. And don't forget though, if they do have Minotaur, Aurora and Franco inside the lane, how much damage they can actually make if the initi uh, initiation goes correctly. If you look at it here, right, they've so got this. They've and got Moscow. Tigril and oh, they got wow. Moskov. Hey, Lapu -Lapu again. So Lapu Lapu again, right oh, into wow. the Clint. So we're beginning to see the composition come in full circle. And the Cyclops being locked in for the side of Zong Yi. Wow. Oh, wowzers. Wow. I have this is going to be a <laughs> match. Very interesting match. I'm pretty, like, I wouldn't say I'm speechless, but I'm really lost of words right now because this is a totally a whole new ball game, different draft picks, and we're going to do. Um, you know, just to insight, just to watch the gameplay, just to learn more how they're going to use the heroes, their components, and of course, through the team fights, objectives, and map control for that. But then, predictions. Predictions. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, let's, uh, mm. looking at the team compositions, I'm, look, I'm, I'm slightly favoring the style of mean things, just yep. because of the double tanks, <laughs> uh, just because of the double tank setup. Correct. However, the initiation tools that is on the favor of Zong Yi is something left it's something, it's something to desire for, actually, because yes. they do have some reliable initiation, Correct. and if they pull the trigger well, and the, the thing that they need to worry about is coldness destroy, because we do have an Aurora. Aurora is on mean things. If not it's on mean things, yeah. yes. So they've got to be careful, because on mean things, if they throw out that, that coldness hook. destroy, yep. right, right into the initiation hook, even if the hook hits and they miss the coldness destroy, Minotaur. It's still going to deny the enemy team of Zong Yi from closing Correct. in the distance. And that's exactly what they need. Yep. They need to try to get picks and try to win. And before anything, let's go into the game, ladies All and gentlemen. Right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And we, oh, we already see it as it game is. Game one of Mean Things versus Zong Yi right here at the bottom lane. We have Lapu Lapu converging with Franco and Aurora. While the mid lane, we have Clint and Minotaur on the top lane for Zhong Yi. While Min thinks they have <laughs> four heroes over there. Moscow, Chao, or Cho, Cyclops, Tigarel going to the top lane and Hayabusa soloing at the bottom lane. Very interesting right here. Uh, they decided to go for the top for the top lane, tri lane. Yeah, okay. and uh, Zhong Yi is actually taking the bottom lane for the tri lane itself. But then again, here's the thing. Minotaur is soloing top lane. What do you think about that with the tri lane setup right here for mean things? All right, uh, looking at the tri lane setup and the Minotaur being on top lane for the blue team yep. of uh, Zong, uh, of, excuse me, of mean things, yes. right? This is going to prove some issues because Zong Yi will have the opportunity Damage. to push out. Yeah, correct. They have the opportunity to clear out and they have more better control over in the top side. So it already, it already speaks to me, it already communicates to me this level of decision making heroes that they want a top lane early control so they can control the Lord. Yep. And again, uh, Minotaur isn't as... And look at that, Minotaur getting harassed by all three heroes over there. And oh, the they spear, got to be careful though. The ulti is there and yeah, like I said, uh, Minotaur is actually, you know, really, really uh, a bit slow compared to Hayabusa. Hayabusa, at least when he's ganked onto the tower or, you know, getting stuck over there, he can still run away with the Shadow Clones. But Minotaur with the heal, and by then, with all those burst damage over there, I don't think it will last a second over there. From well, there. It, it depends because all these heroes over in the top side, Kun, Brian, and Sin are just one level away from level four. And, and look at that. Wow, because Minotaur. of the experience, mm. Minotaur, Minotaur first, first and Rage, blood. 
first blood onto the Cyclops. Wow. Nicely done. It was set up beautifully with the Minotaur Rage, and they were all still within turret range. And here's the thing that is really interesting coming in from the side of Mean Things. things. They're getting the first turtle. Wow. And this is actually proven wrong on paper right now because... Like I said, mean things can actually help each other out with the teamwork here and they're actually proving it right now, just for the early game itself, okay? But then again, uh, I want to take back my words on Minotaur, you know, being the less, uh, you know, less advantageous against the tri because when we just saw what Minotaur did, he can crowd control and he has that burst of HP, you know, a bit of damage. Using the tower to his advantage, he's able to dish out Cyclops away. Well, definitely he will be able to dish out cycles. Away. Oh, that was a very oh, interesting thing nice right into Dragon's Rage. Sean and Kurt doing tons of damage onto it. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, no. where for the Romeo as he goes down? And Zong Yi comes in banging with the way of the dragon. I think Nicely Romeo is done. back meeting Juliet. Oh, yeah, maybe. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bot, bot, bot side turret has been destroyed already. As Look at this. Because of how... Because of the amount of pressure that is being pushed out by the side of Zong Yi, Kun, Brian, and Sin are able to create some kind of a proxy lane. It's very he wise really for the side of Hack to do that. Oh, oh Minotaur. Top power lock now, right to way of the oh, dragon. This wow. is not going to be good. The flicker oh, out. Nice he managed to get out. Hat stays alive. Now, here's the thing again Minotaur has to depend on the tower, like we, what we discussed. So, if let's say Chow or Chow were to kick him out of the tower range, it's going to be proof. Deadly for, you know, for him himself. Because the risk is that you are out of the tower range. You can't get the support from your teammates again. You're literally like, you know, just uh, punching back for them. Definitely uh, an early, a very early, oh, all right, another, another stop. Oh, he, does right not have, he does not have a getaway oh, tool. Man. Oh, a hat gets kicked right to the way of the dragon. He's going to go down, but no, minute someone rage. Will he be able to sustain it? Cut, oh. Sid, and Brian. The, oh, oh, the flickers, the, the shield. Hat goes wow. under the turret. Holy cow. Right wow. into the field of destruction, though. He manages to sidestep it. Nicely done by Hat. This is actually a very good Minotaur player in both evasive and, you know, trying to get away from the being a punching bag right now. He flickers at the right time, he heals at the right time especially, and he managed to run away. This is really, really good coming in from the side of mean things. Yeah. This is why I said rank doesn't really matter. It's all about individual skill. I'll give Despite you that, no the fact that there's a tri lane in the top side of uh, in favor of uh, Zong Yi, right? right? Mean things just shows, I, especially props to ha props to Hacked. Yeah. I got to tip my hat off to Hacked because a man, oh man, he was able to sustain it with patience, yes. timing. He was able to, okay, I, I, I won't die. Yep. Despite the fact that I do not have any uh, getaway tools, I still have my healing spell and I still have some sustain with my motivation roll. He used his Minotaur and Rage at the perfect, perfect time, time. Yep. just to disengage and he was able to walk away with a sliver of health yeah, and to basically, yeah. to add on to that, he wasted three heroes' resources. Their ultis are gone. They could not secure a kill from there. But then again, look at mean things. Taking the turtle again, playing their objective. That's what they're supposed to do. And this is what I like about the Singaporean teams. Both mean things and Zongyi are doing all the right things. Stop all of that goes down, too. This right. is something that he might actually not you get out of, and it's going to go Minotaur. down. You are not Minotaur. Could <laughs> takes him down, and because of that, the turret will oh, go down man. over in the top side of the game. You know, uh, I just want to ask uh, a bit curious of a question. Why Aurora uh, rotated back there? Oh. She should wait with Minotaur. But that oh. was a nice hook, though, but... It hmm. did not follow up? There was no follow up, and ah. there was no adequate damage. Hacked okay. and Sky are not ex actual, like, damage dealers, oh, okay. despite the fact that they do have some good damage values, but they still need, to s they still need a constant uh, damage per second output Correct. that they need to do. And you want to ask me a question, though? Yeah, but before that, let me see the middle part oh, over here. Oh, no, Romeo, <laughs> Romeo! goes down to meet to, Juliet again yeah, to Brian 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 nicely done that was set up beautifully Ooh, look at that. by by the star power the star power lockdown yeah and um, you know uh, we, like we see again back to the question you know why Aurora was there going alone without the part of support because she can pair with Minotaur to do a lot of damage but as you see there's a bit of harassment in the bottom lane and a bit of engagement right here. Oh, Spear of Destruction goes oh. over, trying to get some kind of a... Uh, trying to get, an, right, uh, trying, to get, trying yeah. to get maybe an assist. They thought that they were going to 
engage onto yeah. it and basically uh, put all their chips in one basket. Correct. Oh, but, the oh, hook over there connects to it by, That by was Hayabusa. nicely done. Coldness destroy. Oh, Brutal man. massacre. That was beautiful. Set up yeah. Sky got the hook. Brutal Massacre into the Coldness Destroy. I think a little bit of overkill right yes, there. Correct. Coming in from Mean Things. It would have been <laughs> wise for them to actually just maybe save up a little bit more resources. But the cooldowns are fairly low for all these ultimates. So correct. they might actually just try to just put it out and just say, hey, you know, put all our chips in one basket. And oh. we will get to a fight. Uh-oh, could. Out of yeah. position, though. He does have the immortality. This yeah. is bad. Harassing Romeo Clean, though. Oh, getting knocked up. Moscow will kill Franco first at the first leg. Oh, and Abyss Romeo Walker. is going to meet Juliet again. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. That nice coldness, coldness destroy. Destroy it is. Stunning all of them. Stopping them from the push. Saving Romeo from meeting Juliet. Oh, I think wow. Aurora just wants Clint. Oh, oh, Romeo back here. For a better love story than Twilight, that's for sure. <laughs> coming in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Coming in here, it's going to uh. be an early lot. And this is why you put a tri lane in, in the, the top, top side. Yes. Because you open up the objective of Lord for you. And this gives you a lot of pushing potential. Correct. This has to be quickly, quickly addressed by mean things. Will they be able to get in time? No. Mr. No. Hack, Hacks will not be able to get into the way. And it's going to be down, Lord for the side of Zhong Yi. And speaking of which, when they open up the top tower, that's where the macro draw comes in. They can either roaming around and get the lot easily a bit. But again, you know, I still see that, you know, uh, mean things can do something over that. But try not to get their marksman killed again because Romeo, aka Clint, is going to be stuck again out of the tower range, you know, getting hammered down, being the punching bag like what he was over there. It's going to be a bit risky for them. Now, as you can see, over in the bot side, uh, the Tigreal the, the, with Lord. Yeah, Tigreal will, will be pushing up with the Lord. And <laughs> as you can see, Optic Brian and Kurt. Star Power oh. Lockdown, that's how it starts. The fight is real. Flicker right into it. But will it be enough? Right into the way of the oh, dragon. Wow. The knockups are real. But the damage is low. The ulti from Hayabusa. Hacks in the middle of it, trying to get the kills. But going on the killing spree will be Cho. Sean, Brian, and oh, Kurt going goodness. up against Hacks. And Hack gets taken down. Wow. Beautifully done by Optic. Wow, just wow. I mean, Zhong Yi actually did that team fight in the map control of Mean Things, but then again, they get a managed that. Oh, wait, Lapu Lapu actually got a kill from Cyclops. Well, uh, it did get Sorry, a managed Lapu -Lapu get a kill. Lapu killed Cyclops, yeah, my bad. Wow. But uh, this is not going to change the outlook <laughs> the things, of the game yeah. at the moment because of the amount of wave pressure that's happening. Despite the fact that Lord has been taken down, the advantage of turrets and the advantage of his objectives actually belie upon... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's... He goes in, but he's got to be careful, though. Okay. That could have been dangerous for Optic. Very risky indeed. But then again, a trade-off of one kill, but you lose two towers and two heroes. Ah, oh, man. I think MT really needs to step things up right now. And... Because right now their towers are down, they have to defend the last tier of towers and they're going to lose a lot of map control from there. I think they're going to lose the lore and the turtle. They got a lot of turtles in the recent year just to increase their EXP and go, but it's not going to work things out for now because Zhongyi is taking away a lot of map control from here. Look at the amount of damage Sean does. He does about close to 700 to 800 crit My damage goodness. and the fact that he, he's, just, he's just doing so much damage. Abyss Walker, right, in, right with the passive Spear of Coincidence. Goal and, lead. The goal lead. And of course, the goal lead as well. 6,000 goal in favor of the red side, which is Zhong Yi. So, this is going to be a very, very interesting game coming in for Zhong Yi. Uh, it seems like they did give up a little bit of the early pressure. Correct. To actually get into the mid-game scaling, which is what they want to do. Minted Pie, not oh. spotting out Sin. Oh. Sin showing a lot, <laughs> a lot of... Uh, Patience. Not just... Patience, yeah. but also discipline. Yeah. Because you don't wanna, you don't wanna go into that. Oh, oh, Coldness destroy. Oh, Luckily the hook enough, missed, he manages <laughs> to just sidestep yeah. that steel hook very well. Hmm, this is actually pretty interesting from here. And you can see everyone is camping in the bushes right now, because they know that mean things cannot do much. If they step out of their base, they're either gonna lose towers or just gonna lose in team fights because everyone is camping around the bushes right here. But. If I were mean things right now, I would want to control the crowd first. Try to get Zhong Yi to do a silly mistake in my base. Try to fight in a good team fight. And if the team fight works out well, that's where I start pushing in one of the lanes. Oh, Optic has got to be careful though. I mean, yeah, he can get away, but if 
any of these teammates, if any of his teammates actually gets a stunned on him, yep. or his manager suppress him with brutal massacre, Correct. he could spell doom for optic. And he should be careful on going in We do see Hayabusa out. although being very versatile, shadow clawing everywhere, teleporting, but he eventually gets killed. Yeah, if the engagement is right, like you said. I mean, it all boils down to timing. Uh, look at the amount of push and that's oh, happening. Oh, look at the top lane right here. Hayabusa again, testing waters. Thinking there's no alligators over there, but there's alligators and crocodiles down there. Uh, alligators <laughs> and crocodiles. I don't think alligators and crocodiles live in the same type of water, though. Oh, my bad. Yeah, much more National Geographic. Anyway, yeah, coming in, it's going to be the second lord of the game. Could it be for the side of Zhong Yi? Can Psycho actually solo that? No. Uh, so Psycho will definitely not solo that. They didn't yeah. want to start it out. And because Sean is there, look at the amount of damage being done. They're just going to just destroy it really quickly. And I like how Cho, or Cho is still distracting the enemy, the offense over here. And Cho is not going to get much uh, damage. Uh, from the opposite team, so it's still very good. What a good trade over there. Try to distract things out, try to mess out their rotations, and you get a lot. And it's very, very good coming in from the Cho, uh, from coming in from Kun. The only reason why yeah. Kun was able to do that is because of how Cho works. Yes. He does have the Shunpo and he does have uh, getaway mechanics that make him very versatile. So if he were to be a source of distraction Correct. or a source of a split push, he's able to get away without much punishment. It yes. only depends on whether or not the team, how hard the team is going to go. Correct. Because the amount of mobility that he has, he's able to lead them into the team and they could bite off more than they could chew. Yep. As members of Team Zongyi are going to be hanging out over in the mid side, they are looking to end this game as quickly as possible. But uh, it would be wise for them to actually supplement the, 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 Lord, the Lord over in the bot side or at least try to cre create a split push opportunity yep. over in the mid or the top side. They're going to go bottom here with Tower, with four heroes over there. with Lord going to push around and then Franco got oh, Moscow. Oh, mid set by though, gets wow. into the stop. Our lockdown is not going to be good. Hack, try to do as much as he can. The mega kill will go over to Kurt. Hack, in amount of damage is too much. Trying to tank the Lord as well as the damage deal is being done from the side of Zhong Yi. Mean things, not so mean anymore. Yep, and again, the Lord has been probably taken out by the bottom lane and this opened up opportunity to push other lanes right now under Zhong Yi's belt. Well, as I said already, because the split push is happening and the amount of... Uh, they had to divert too much resources Correct. at two places at two times. It's like trying to plug a sinking ship hey, whoa, that has... Whoa! Whoa! Holy what? cow! What? I need to happened? go to the optometrist! Okay. Optic! 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 Oh, what wow. was that? Damage! That damage from there, from the ulti on the single Aurora, wiped her out, melted her down into water, and he managed to teleport back into the jungle. Play of the game. Uh, definitely a play, play of, the game. of the game. Definitely a play of the game right here. I don't know whether it's a play of the series, but definitely uh, a play <laughs> of the game. I think this is one of the best uh, Hayabusa ulti that we've seen. And that's far, itself. and because, yeah. of the, because of the ultimate... Because yep. of the ultimate damage that he has, and Kun! Oh, Kun, Kun gets, <laughs> uh, gets hit up and goes away. on the Shunpo. Manages to go yeah, on his 3-step knockup, but get away will he will. And so, uh, with the yeah. sustain that he has, he's doing pretty well, going in and out. And mean things right now are in the desperate move right now. We only have one more tower to defend. The bottom and the... T sorry, the, t top, uh, the top and bottom tower has been destroyed. And oh, oh my, goodness, my god, Kun right in his own rage! This is going to be uh, bad. He can still live with that. Oh, no, nope. he's not. He's might he actually go run. down. No, he's not. It's too bad tanky. And all turrets from mean things are all destroyed right now. They only have the Nexus. Oh, for Optic oh. gets oh. taken down. What? Okay. I think they kind of overcome me there. But again, now the favor is Zongyi's side right now. They can get 90% of the whole map because... I mean things, we have to defend three super minion lanes right now, top, bottom, mid, and it's not going to favor. And look at that, Cyclops over there trying to run away from that slither of health. Only a slither of health on Brian at the yeah. moment, but he managed to get away because of that. And look at that, okay, Cyclops managed to run away from here, and mean things right now, their minds is going to be pure defensive. If they don't want to lose this game, they have to go into a good team fight right now. If the team fight favors mean things, they can send at least three people to the mid lane, destroy a few towers again to at least finish up, you know, give them a bit of advantage. But then they have to defend again another wave of team fights. So this is actually very, very dire now for team mean things.
mean things. Definitely not on the mean side of things today. <laughs> uh, and it's going to might be actually the third lot of the game. We're going to have, have a, a short little pause. tactical pause right here. Mm. It might have been a small little issue. Tactical pause. Tactical pause. I like yeah. to call it tactical because it is a tactical part. Yep. This is where the teams, aside from, uh, aside from uh, what's the word for it? Addressing errors. Correct. They also can kind of like a break in the action and just, okay, guys, we got a small little break. Yeah. Let's strategize. Yes. So what kind of strategy do you think that Mean Things should adopt towards approaching this? Oh, they had to get a good team fight from here. Uh, towers are down. They cannot leave the base. If they were to leave the base, then the Nexus will be fallen. GGWP. Uh, they had a really good team fight. But then again, don't forget, Zongyi is going to wait for the opportunity to come to bring Lord into the game back again. And with Lord being like more of a tank, because they have another tank, so it's going to be six against five uh, heroes right now. And yeah, sure, they can burst down Lord really fast with the heroes they have. But don't forget, we have Hayabusa in it. And Hayabusa showing us that he is the true ninja, dealing so much damage onto Aurora, which Aurora is supposed to at least stun everyone to get there. But, and he can evade from there as well. So it's going to be a bit tough for mean things. But then again, if the team fight really works out, three heroes just pushing one lane, try to finish off as many towers on Zongyi's side, and then coming back again, playing good defense, waiting for another wave of team uh, Zongyi to come in again and try to initiate another good offense and try to push the tower to victory. But then and again, we get seems back to the game here. The tactical boss has ended as the members of Mean Things. Will we be able to see them make any adjustments? Oh, that was a nice third charge of the Jeet Kundo coming in from Kun. Uh, Min said Pai in a bit of trouble here as, excuse me, Min said Pai not going to go into it. It's going to be tough right now. I think it's in 17 minutes right now in the game. Yeah, it's 17 minutes into yeah. the game uh, with a goal discrepancy of 10,000 in favour of Zongyi. Mean things and of definitely course, the in the best spot. Look at that. Look at the amount of damage that Sean <laughs> does against the, the Lord. Nicely kiting it out. And this is going to add... This is going to be the last straw that broke the camel's back, basically. 1k plus damage. 1k plus damage. He does wow. tons of damage. He and also has steal. He also has some really good lifesteal. Lord has been slain. Oh, oh, Optic gets caught! Oh, 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 Optic. Optic gets caught! Oops. Nicely done! Coming in from the side of Mean Things! Wow. Showing that they're trying to breathe in life into this. And the wise thing for Mean Things to do right now is pull the trigger. But they got to be wary of Brian and Sid. Brian does have the star power lockdown. Sin does have the implosion with the Sacred Hammer. Right. There goes the Steel Hook, hitting nothing but air. And don't forget, Kun can also initiate as well. So if all of the three heroes will be able to land their ulties, land their skills at the right time, and a favor, oh, close, close. Hook, though. Close, 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 but no cigar <laughs> coming in, and Hiji Kundo's over the wall. Kun, just, just, just mobilizing as much Man, as he can. I there, like second charge. Uh, and okay, here comes a lot. Okay, so you're still gonna be a five on five battle because you're gonna take Lord as a hero right now. And look at that. Oh, Kun oh, is stuck there. Kun. No, but Kun manages to get out. Oh, nice Minotaur rage right here. This oh, is what I'm trying to my say. Goodness, a good defense on that. Lapu, Lapu, double kill. What is this? But, but no, it is not but enough, Nexus ladies and destroyed. gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh. Nicely done coming in. Mean things, mean things. Almost breathing a little bit of life in there hopes of defeating oh, Zongyi, but <laughs> Zongyi just showed that patience and a very disciplined game. I, I kind of have to criticize a little bit on Optic. He did get a lit. It was kind of like, the, the, one of the reasons why they didn't, they didn't have a favorable team. Right. Boys and girls, here we go. Okay. We're going to see the first bands coming out. Hayabusa <laughs> being banned out. As you said it, Mint, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Mean Things. things. Banning out the Hayabusa, Busa. carry being banned Bang on out. the side of Zongyi. They have a lot of fear for the carry. Uh, coming in from the side of Sin on Zongyi, they will lock in the Cho Chow and yep. Minted Pai with the hover over the Saber. Mm. Triple sweeps coming in yep. with the Aurora. Aurora. Now, this is some really good stuff coming in yep. from the side of, uh, of Mean Things. Minted Pai picking up that Saber picking, and Romeo picking up the Aurora shows that they can actually lock people down with it. Correct. They can actually consider, uh, what's the word for it? I mean, Triple Sweep is a very reliable lockdown skill. Yep. And if you couple it with a Coldness Destroy, then it could be a big, big, bad time yep. coming in from the side of Zongyi. But you see, Zongyi has Karina right there. Karina, what a great uh, assassin. She can be inv invulnerable at some points. And you get to see Minotaur right here playing for the support on Zong Yi's belt. Well, it seems that the draft mode oh. suddenly disappeared. 
Uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm very sad. <laughs> but yeah, but don't anyway, worry. we'll get to see it again. Uh, Kari, Hayabusa being banned out. Yep. We did see uh, a Minotaur being picked out as well, along with, I think, maybe a Franco, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so the Franco is over there. I think we did see okay. a Franco. Uh, I, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen to the draft. I think there was a bit of an overlay issue over there. All right. We're still waiting on from the side of production when we're going to switch into that. But before anything, let's go back into the conversation that we were having before the draft started. Yeah. What was your favorite moments in that game? First game one between Mean Things going up against Zong Yi. All right. The favorite moment would be Hayabusa. Like I said, the ulti uh, not getting stuck in the gangs over here and managed to run away into the jungle. I think that was a very good thing. The second favorite moment, may I add a second favorite moment for you? Second favorite moment is the Minotaur yes. three-man Minotaur and Rage. Wasting at the all end. the resources from the heroes. I think all of them nearly used most of their ultis and the damage from there. But then Minotaur with the Rage, the stun itself at the right time, healing at the right time, and flickering into the tower at the right time, managed to run away from that. That is just pure how to say graceful invasion uh, well it wasn't yeah. just it wasn't just that it was the fact that he understood the limitations of his hero Correct. he knew what he needed to do yes and he knew that despite the fact that the damage was good coming in from the side of Zhong Yi he knew that okay I don't have to be worried I'm a I'm a, I'm a freaking Minotaur yes. I'm half man half bull what do I have to be worried about I'm Correct. strong I'm tanky and I'm able to sustain the damage and Correct. he did despite the fact that his flicker was down he was still able to do do sustain the damage, damage really well itself. Maybe, yeah, and one more thing, uh, you know, but Minotaur, what, he knows his role and he's able to, you know, not get pressured by the Trilane that often. It's a pity that most of his uh, teammates, like Aurora just going all the way top, <laughs> trying to become maybe him, getting melted down instantly by the Trilane. Because like you see, the Trilane is very dangerous. Even though you are with the tower, the tower has your back, but then Chao or Cho, they will, he will kick you out of that into the lane. Cyclops is there to stop you down. And, you know, it's just chaos over there. Make you like punch, punching back. In like way. I said, Jeet Kundo, right into the Shunpo. Yep. Right into the way of the dragon from the Cho is just disgustingly irritating. Yep. Disgustingly irritating. Uh, any thoughts? Any any other thoughts in the draft? And before we go into the draft again, okay. uh, any special thoughts coming in from what we've seen thus far? Okay, I want to see mean things. Uh, you know, I mean, the draft wasn't a big problem. It's just that initiation, uh, how to be more impactful, be comfortable with the heroes that you use, both in offense and defense. I want to see more of that because they actually, in the early games, they do have an equal level. I mean, there wasn't like a big thing. And then they even had the goal lead because of the two kills of turtles down there. Um, well, Zhong Yi, just play like Zhong Yi, you know, be patient, uh, attack together. Uh, you can focus on the tri lane again at the top. I think your tri lane is as menacing, uh, you know, despite having uh, not really much of an impact and maybe a bit of bloopers down there with Minotaur running away, but their tri lane is still very good. And on top of that, mean things might want to improve on their tri lane because we rarely see a tri lane uh, influence over there at the bottom lane itself. Well, we do see quite a bit of the tri lane influence coming in from the side but of... Hayabusa uh, ran away. Like, yeah, you know. but that's the thing, though. Like, that's the thing. That's mm. the thing you want to do to offset the top, the the tri lane. You need someone that's able to push, maybe from a distance, or at least has really good wave clear. Correct. You need someone that has a very reliable getaway tool, and you need someone that can either sustain the damage or is able to dish out some decent amount of damage, despite the fact that he's outnumbered. Mm. So when you have heroes like Hayabusa go down on the bot side. He's able to push out as much as he can with the abilities and his basic attacks. But if the three members of the bottom side mean things decide to jump on him, he's able to escape. Yep, true as well. And uh, maybe predictions first? Because we haven't predicted the first game actually. Mm. So, <laughs> my say will be Zhong Yi. Because uh, I think Zhong Yi is a team to not mess with. And they rarely do silly mistakes in a game besides... Uh, Getting hooked, but hook is not a silly mistake actually. It's how, just a placement. I mean, I how mean, can you say that though? Because you know, hook is based on the ability of the player to actually good, get good hooks. And Franco, yes, he does get some good hooks from that. He did get some good hooks, but then it wasn't as many good hooks as possible. Maybe like one or two or three. All it's, right, but, it's but, though, over there. but though, enough yeah. about the speculation. Let's All go right. find out what they're going to be drafting off. All right, sure. Draft picks. Here we go. Soon.
Okay, excuse me. Uh, okay. There was a bit of a there was a bit of a delay right there. That was my fault. Sorry okay. about that. No but worries. We were talking about Franco. Yeah. He did make an appearance just now. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so we might actually see him later on. Okay. I'm not sure whether or not they're still going to be drafting the same drafts. I'm pretty sure that they're, they're going to be drafting what they've picked mm. out earlier on. They chose Saber. They chose Aurora. With Franco on board, Saber to initiate, and Aurora also might be able to be an initiator. I think they can work along those lanes. Uh, I have yet to see the other heroes, but if they were to do a tri-lane combo, uh, I think it's pretty possible because everyone can dish out damage and everyone can initiate and stun people over there. So it doesn't matter what, but as long as they're able to stick together because like I said, Saber is quite a squishy hero. Aurora is going to be a squishy hero again. So it's going to be depending on whether or not they are able to glue together, you know, roam around at the same pace and able to win team fights and get map control from there. I realize that now Zongyi is put in a position because Mean Things did pick out the Aurora, right? Yes, that's the thing. So Zongyi is put in a position whereby Coldness Destroy could actually decimate their team Correct. if they stick too, too close together. Yes. The problem with the Coldness Destroy is or if you are on the side of Zongyi, you don't want to be on the receiving end or you don't even want to miss it that much because if you decide to go ham, Correct. On the enemy team. Okay. Okay, on, on mean things. If Zongyi decides to go ham on mean things, it's going to prove problems because Coldness Destroy will come down, okay. do tons of damage, AOE will damage. stun you, yep. and there are always the Brutal Massacre to worry about. Oh. You've got the Triple Sweep to worry about. Yep. And that is just the three heroes that they've highlighted and picked out. Correct. We don't even know what their DPS leader is going to be. We don't even yep. know whether they're going to pick up a support. Yes. Or whether they're going to pick up another tank. We Correct. don't really know. And to follow up that, if let's say anyone tries to run away again, they do have the hook. Yes. Uh, and if let's say the hook is impactful this time around, they're going to get a lot of kills. Well, it was impactful when it landed. If it lands. Like that, it. That's the thing impactful that I said. hooks are landed. Hooks, that's, right. that's the thing. <laughs> it all depends on your individual skill, whether or not yep. you can land that skill shot. And if you're able to land that skill shot and you're able to pull your opponent to you, you're effectively saying, okay, you come here to die. Yeah. Effectively making your job efficient, effectively making your job easy. But the non-easy part about it, the, 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 the tough, the skill dynamic part of it is just landing your skill shot. And Correct. this time, I promise to you guys, we're <laughs> going to go right into the draft. Oh, I hope so. Ta-da! There right. we go. So anyways, and I think it's going to be the same level of bands, same level of things. Picks. And oh, here's something really interesting. Truly men. We have not seen... Uh, Truly men play before for the side of mean so things. So he might be a sub then. Yeah, it's going to be a sub. So this wow. is going to be interesting. Uh, is this the first time we've seen a sub here in this tournament? Uh, I'm not really I sure. Can't recall. But I think so. I, I, I have the feeling. I'm pretty sure they did make some. I think yeah. I'm pretty sure they ma did make some rotations here. And okay. as you can see, for the side of Zongyi, the standard pickups, the standard bands right. coming in. Uh, they don't want to give too many experience, uh, too many uh, advantages to either side of the teams. Correct. And we see Clint over there. Uh, is it Clint? Yes, yeah. that is a Clint. That's actually a bit more... Uh, I mean, Clint wasn't really impactful. Wait a minute. Did I just see Rafaela? No. Eudora. Is that Eudora, my friend? Not sure, though, over there. And as I said beforehand, right? Yeah. As you can see this right here, it is just perfect. It is just perfect coming in in terms of, in terms of uh, what's it called? The pick and bands rotations. Estes, this finally be wow. picked up. And we can finally see Holy. that Zong Yi, <laughs> Zong Yi has extra regen on their, on wow. their hands right now. That's and a lot of, this is going to be good. Yeah, this is a lot of uh, HP right here. Adora is going to be working as a very, very strong kind of damage dealing support. Yes. However, the level of sustain that she brings into the team is near is zero. Yep. Zero. She only brings damage and she needs to land the magic missile Correct. with the Thunderstruck and she needs to get the Superconductor off. Yep. The more she gets the Superconductor off, she'll be able to do Thunderstruck and boom, shakalaka, you get zapped. But then again, Zong Yi's side, they have a high regen draft. They have Minotaur there. They have Estes over there as well. Estes is going to wholly heal the whole team. So I, if let's say Eudora were to go there solely just to try to catch anyone off guard in the same team fight right there, I don't think it's a wise choice because they can regen instantly from there and they'll still be able to take or turn the tables away to take over mean things. And Eudora, like I said, squishy. Very squishy indeed. Very squishy indeed.
<laughs> well, why tofu? What's it, what's the obsession with tofu? Yeah, you know, Normally tofu you call it paper, you know. Paper is like way less mm, durable than, uh, than well, tofu. Well, maybe my acronyms are, uh, you know, tofu is like very soft. <laughs> and, you know, soft things, you know, just drop and then just... <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm going to yeah. stop you right there because sure. we're going to go right into the game, ladies right. and gentlemen, boys game and girls. time. As you can see, the top lane for Zong, uh, sorry, for Mean Things will be Tigrell over here. We're going to see a tri lane at the bottom side with Udora, Saber, and Aurora. And of course, Clint in the middle lane. While we can see Karina, top lane over here with Moskov in the middle lane, Estes and Chal. They are not gonna do the triple or the tri lane here. Oh wait, no, this wait, is very yeah, three heroes over there. Yeah, I think I this can't is see very, probably. very interesting coming in from the side of uh, Mean Two. Things and Zong Yi. There's going yeah. to be a tree, a tree, tree. Is it a tree lane? Yeah, yeah. It's not a tree lane actually. It's a two lane. Two lane it's now. A dual lanes right now, and oh, they're wow. gonna have uh, Karina and Moskov act as the off lane roamers. Oh They're my going goodness. to be getting all the buffs and all the and uh, basically all the advantages here. As you can see, Clint yeah. was hanging out on the bottom side of the red side jungle. Correct. And because Kareen basically started off with the proxy with the Minotaur over on the top side, he say, she's basically safe to go in and invade and take away whatever advantages and try to put Clint on an EXP, on uh, whatever jungler that is on the team of uh, Mean Things yep. behind because Correct. of the experience a gold deficit. Yeah, and I was about to say that uh, Zhong Yi is actually trying to do something different. 2-1-2 two, two instead. But then uh, all my hopes just got crushed when I saw Karina dropping down to the bottom lane. <laughs> Forming that tri lane again. So both teams right now will be playing the tri lane at the bottom side. Probably don't want to get the... Uh, ooh, nice Cho there. Cho, Cho trying to do some stuff over there. Oh. Oh, and turns out he's slain by Karina. Very, very scary coming in from Kun Kun, almost getting stunned and getting into a yep. situation where he couldn't get away from. Look at the amount of damage being done. The pokes are real coming in from the bot side. What's really interesting to note is the fact that Eudora, by the time she's like level 5 and level 6, uh, being able to scale out, she will be able to get the items whereby she's able and to do oh, tons of damage. Tigurel trying to hit Minotaur. Oh, Romeo. Kind of wasted. Romeo pushing it yeah, out. Though. But then Minotaur did not actually utilize that rage itself when he gets bigger but then again like i said uh having estes inside their group of the tri lane they can get a lot of heals from there and they don't need to fall back to the tower uh you know many times back to their own home base to get the heals because estes is there to keep on healing them and this gives up more opportunities to jungle it out more opportunities to do more jungling and for map control as well and maybe to take the turtle anytime when it's red d all right, coming in and Kun. Oh, oh Kun. beautiful G Kun Triple no. bingo right, right there. Into the way of the dragon, first but he's got to be careful. Blood. The first blood does go over to mean things though. Jules tried to kite as much as he can. Kun gets interesting low. Sky, all he needs to do is just get close. And that's going to be a double kill on to Sky. Beautifully done by Mean Things, and that was just insane coming in from Zongi. They did pull the trigger off very, very well. However, they bit off more than they could chew. They underestimated the amount of damage the turret could do. And Euro, Euro, Eudora, Eudora, my bad. Again, like you said in the early beginnings, it deals a lot of damage. She deals a lot of damage right there, and you can see how impactful right now she gets the double kill from that side. All right, over and, in the top yeah, side. Yeah, the top lane right here, we can see that Minotaur is pressuring the jungle lanes over here, trying to get enough farm. Tigreal, on the other hand, might not have enough damage to knock off Minotaur since both of them are tanks, in a way. And it's kind of pity to see that Tigreal has to be stuck over here in his own tower. And Minotaur just soaking so much damage right there, doing a lot of crowd control. I think Minotaur will get an upper level advantage on terms of level and goal compared to Tigera right here because of that crowd control skills. You can see that sneaky beaky like over there by Karina and Chao. Uh, are they going to do anything right here? They're rotating to the bot side, but I yeah. think that uh, the information has been communicated to the side of mean things. They felt unsafe and they just rely on their gut. They decided to go yeah. back. Try not to do another mistake again. If yeah, not, Eudora I mean, would just chase them down. I mean, this was really smart coming in. 
And uh, yeah, I can see Minotaur again. <laughs> oh. together with... Hello, Optic. Oh, hello. Romeo says a little bit of love taps coming in from both sides. The attack wave misses. Optic trying to do a bit of damage onto Romeo. Heals up with the motivation roar, but decides to go back against it. I mean, there's not much damages that both tanks could do to each other since they're both tanky and of course their uh, attack is a bit uh, small or short of damage. But then again, look at the tri lane right here. That's the setup here. And Moskov is actually going to kick off the turtle here. Actually, that's a very good tri lane, the distraction over there, if they do not overcome it because they got the turtle right now. And uh, you can see all three heroes on the main things right here. They're just camping around the tower right here, trying to destroy oh, wow. that. Oh, okay. He spot that out. That's interesting. But again, oh, Saber. Minted pie. But that was a beautiful, beautiful magic missile coming in from the side of the... Uh, from the side of Sky, and this got to be careful though. Estes with the blessing, trying to keep Brian <laughs> and Kun alive, and this is exactly what needed. What I was surprised though that Sin did not put down the domain of the Moon Goddess. Yeah. And if he did put down the domain, it would have slowed down the fight. Yes. And it would have been the favor of the other. I mean, hands. it would have sent yeah. into their favor, or at least give a little bit of breathing room for them to actually minimize the amount of damage that they take. But then again, like I said, uh, you know, Estes was there to do. Oh. Oops. Kun. Yeah, that's just a scare. <laughs> Kun just coming in, it's like bamboozling truly men up into the air. Yep. Sky, 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 doing really well on the Adora. Yeah, doing the zaps and the, doing the zaps and turning them into superconductors. So far on point. So very, far on very, point. very on yep. point for now. And it seems that mean things does have the advantage. However, uh, the goal advantage is in favor of uh, Zongi because so of the turtle kills. The turtle kills are definitely going to be something that uh, put them far further ahead in the advantage. And I did see a spear of destruction being thrown out just now. I, I, I think it was a misclick. I think because it went to the side. Okay. It went to the outside of the of the so map. He airballed so his skill then. <laughs> could have been a misclick or a miss a miss thumb. Miss it's thumb. Not a, it's not a misclick. It's yeah, a miss thumb because they don't use mouses, right? Correct. It's a miss thumb. Yeah. Yep. That's a new co that's a new term we can <laughs> coin right here. Anyways. Mobile esports, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mobile esports. And as you can see, the top lane, Tigreal, being pressured so heavily with Karina and Minotaur. You remember what I said when both tanks couldn't do much, but here comes Karina. Karina might be able to damage. Deal and look at that! All four heroes uh -oh. of MT. This might be a team fight right here. As we this can is gonna see. be a team fight. Something's gonna pop off over in the and top oh, side. Uh, with the moon. Oh, with the slow damage right here. And here comes Optic using the Minotaur King and his crowd control here. Try not get the minions in the way of the team fight. If let's say that thing were to happen, and Clean together with MT. Whoa, his teammates right here, and there's a bit of laggy right here. Oh, there then, was a bit oh, of a lag issue right there. Optic taking a little bit too much damage. damage. Gets stunned. He's got to be careful, though. He does have the superconductor passive being oh! up against him. Oh, the triple swing! But he gets taken down. Wow. Nicely done. Trick kill, one trick kill. for one coming in in favor of mean things, though. And actually good because they are able to defend the tower from here from being destroyed. Because if, let's say, that team fight were to be on the side of Zongyi, that tower would be down and maybe a few more heroes being killed. But then again, mean things, showing that they are mean as well in the game. Oh, definitely. And they are able to get one kill from that trade-off. Definitely, uh, uh, mean things uh, showing that how mean they are is uh, definitely something that they can do really well in these matchups. However, it's not a very wise thing for them to do if they're going to be, uh, what's the word for it? If they're going to be picking out fights that don't favor them, and Correct. this is exactly what Optic is doing to uh, mean things at the yes. moment, because because the proxy that's happening over the top side, and the fact that they're not countering it with some really good rotations, and I, that's I, a lot of turtles kills already right now for Zongyi and Zongyi. I mean, Moskov is so annoying to see him teleporting left and right, up and down, just getting those mobility over there, trying to move lanes and manage to kill off their hermit crap on Mean Thing side. This is actually pretty bad in terms of goal advantage right now. For, sorry, goal differences with, for Mean Things. Although Mean Things will be able to capitalize at least a few more hits from there. But then again, you see the towers. Uh, besides the top tower, both middle and bottom towers of Mean Things has gone to the favor of Zongyi. As you see, oh, Correct me if I'm wrong. There. There's oh. another tower being taken down. Another tower being taken down by Zongyi. And aye, this aye, is exactly aye. what Zongyi needs to do. They are trying to turtle up 
the members of mean things up into the base and get the amount of control that they need. Could trying to get into the optimum position to set up Way of the Dragon with Ooh. the Jeet Kune Do and the Shanpo. He gets a three-man knockoff. He'll be able to Way of the Dragon, one of the marksmen, right into the hands of Zong Yi. And that's exactly what he needs to do to get them ahead and try to win this game. I want to see Tigreal be more impactful right now because he's the supreme tank. He should initiate it. But the problem is... He's not doing much. And then I think Eudora, without the initiation, without the start up, it's very far, very hard for her to follow up onto that or at least secure a kill. As you can see, Lord has been harassed by Team Optic there. There's a lot of members on top of that. I think they're trying to wait for the bait. And nope. Uh, Moscow is going to get the last kill right here. This might actually be a fight right here. They do have the push advantage, but he's got to be careful. Kun does have his immortality. Oh, Romeo out of position. Romeo. He does get hit up. Domain. Oh, Minotaur the taken slay. down. Clint the, the Minotaur there. gets taken down. And oh my goodness, Zong Yi trying to take advantage Ooh. away of the dragon right to Romeo. I don't think that is the optimum tank. Oh, but it's a take down. Oh, Karina! Wow. With the damage! <laughs> Karina just diving into there, taking out Aurora before falling down. That's actually pretty... Interesting because you get two to one heroes at the time being. I mean, two for the price of one, why not? I mean, that's a pretty good uh, margin right there. Map control as well. Maybe the first tower is going to destroy now? Uh, I mean, with, with the amount of proxying that was done over in the top side, this opens up the top side of, oh, the, top, yes. of the lanes. First tower and it's exactly the kind of planning that Zong Yi does really well. And don't and forget the Lord bottom lane right there. They are taking down much control at the bottom lane. And look, the top lane, two turrets down already, leaving empty with only three more towers to protect before getting into the nerve of their nexus well getting into the nerves of the nexus will definitely be something that uh that members of zongyi want to do i mean it's very even right now but in terms of turret oh. the discrepancy is very high six turrets to no what turrets at all in Minotaur favor of this there. look at that wow. just trying to proxy it up balls of steel my very, friend very very balls very very ballsy coming in from the side of uh, Optic, oh, but here it comes. Brian gets the hit of the Sacred Hammer. Attack wave gets taken out. The damage is not good coming in, but that's really something important to be noticed. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Call it shot right into the, the tree back. Romeo toe. goes oh. in with the Sacred Hammer, but will it be enough? The implosion no. was beautifully done. Set up with the Coldest Destroy, but not members of Zong Yi are coming up to throw it down. And the DPS, oh the main DPS of the game, Sean Holy pushing it out with the knockback onto Romeo against Three the Nexus. Sean pushing it out. Look at that Abyss Walker goes into to clear up wow. the bottom side. That was a nice <laughs> sacred hammer to take him down. Immortality will be popped up, yep. but it's going to be the end of the game. GG Ladies WP. and gentlemen, Zong Yi wins against Mean Things 2 to 0. Yep. And you just see how much map control, they push the towers one by one. Even with the lot pushing from the bottom there, they just do the split push like we all kind of expected it. But they do it really fast. And when they had a team fight right there, no doubt when I was to say, you know, Tigreal, step up, step up, do something right now. You Download for free, Mobile Legends Bang Bang.